Meta did not change much, so let me not waste your time. PP19 Bison, one of the easiest weapon to use, with no recall that even a beginner can beam, with good bullet spread for challenging range fights, with SMG mobility and fast ADS movement to dodge bullets by strafing left and right, and big LMG max size allowing us to 1 vs 5 without reloading, and fast reload speed which helps in clutch situations. Its ease of use coupled with the good range and competitive time to kill makes it viable even in current meta. UL736 hit one shot to chest and we get 291 mils against time to kill till nearly 60 meters which is very consistent especially when taking head glitch fights. It has tight puller spread during the initial spray and quite easy recall to beam at range. It is also an agile LMG, not too slow to use and we get 60 bullets with pretty good reload speed allowing you will be played worse style when needed. UL is great and the go-to LMG for passive playstyle. For in-depth explanation on why these guns are meta, check my previous top 10 analysis. Grau is the go-to weapon in ranked, offering 50 meters of effective range with easy AF recall and we can beam even at long range without any issues. Fire rate is fast which helps make missing shots less punishing and mobility is good for playing world style. We get 50 bullets in mag with SMG like reload speed and tight hip fire spread allowing us to win gunfights by hip firing in close range making ground noise for playing aggressive and iron sights are clean and offers one of the best free to play experience making it the complete package why it is the most popular weapon in ranked. To counter Grau, use kill 1 for 1. Grau has a con, bullet speed, which will add delay before our bullet can hit the enemy. But Kilo does not have bullet speed, giving it the edge, and range is similar to Grau. Kilo has good recall to beam even at longer ranges, and it has better bullet spread than Grau, making Kilo more lethal at range. We get fast fire rate with mobility on par with Grau, and 50 bullets in mag with 1.3 second reload cancel, and also tight hit fast spread, making Kilo really nice for playing world style. And now is a good time to leave a like and comment something nice to help support the video. For playing aggressive, you cannot go wrong with CX-9. I have made Fennec vs CX-9 comparison, so watch that to know more. If not CX-9, then use Switchblade. It performs on par with CX-9 and Fennec. And watch my Fennec vs Switchblade comparison for in-depth analysis. Holger 26 is dead cause Hades took over. Hades has infinite 324 mils against stamped kill, with easy recall and pretty good bullet spread to beam at range. Mobility is also good, better than UL736, allowing Hades to be played aggressive at times. And the iron sight experience is one of the best if you use crossbar attachment, as we get a clean view of the enemy, allowing us to be more accurate with our aim. And watch Holger vs Hades comparison for more information. PTW got a minor recall move and PW is still a beam with good bullet spread for taking range fights. PW has potential for 240 mils against time to kill till 26 meters with faster ADS movement than Bison and we get 50 bullets in mag which is enough with the only con being the reload speed. It is a bit on the slow side otherwise PW is amazing and I have no complaints from it and it is my try hard weapon on medium sized maps like Nuketown or Stan off and PW is still meta, better than Cordite and watch PW vs Cordite comparison here. Help support me by donating so I can work on more such videos in future. But if you want even more versatility, then try FFAR. FFAR is used the same way as PDW, but it can challenge longer range gunfights and hold its own. The fire rate is the fastest among assault rifles, why even though we get 42 meters of effective range, we only need one more shot to kill at infinite range, which happens in the blink of an eye, giving FFAR quite consistent performance. But bullet speed is a con, and keep gunfights within 59 meters where bullet speed will be fine.
Recall is simple, mainly vertical recall, and we do just pull down to beam with it, with good bullet spread for playing wolf style. It has good mobility with fast ADS movement, which allows us to dodge bullets by strafing left and right. And I use Skulker Poke to improve ADS movement further. We get 44 bullets in mag with super fast reload cancel, helping us when playing aggressive. And I use Amos's laser personally, as I tend to challenge mid to long range gunfights. And FFR is like a railgun. It shoots straight with tight spread and I can confidently challenge any other weapon in meta. But for this playstyle, you can use LK24. LK24 got a minor bullet spread nerf in the previous season, and people spread misinfo that LK24 is no longer meta. But LK24 is still a top assault rifle, even used by pro players. For opportunity, though, lucky for the shot from afar. Sun is the next target, and the sun sets right there. Sun sets right there, and now. The Light King trying to find something, what? gets one, gets two again, he's still alive, six kills me for him, has the war machine at the ready. I use my wolf style build, offering 47 meters of effective range with low flinch, making our sprays accurate under enemy fire. ADS movement is good for playing wolf style, but ADS speed is on the slow side. With 50 bullets in mag and fast reload speed, with SMG like hip fast spread, allowing us to hip fire when playing aggressive. And even with this build, LK has on par performance with kill one for one at longer ranges, and you can improve it by using range specific build, but that is too slow why you can use this for ranked. For more analysis and best gunsman builds, you can join our Discord server. HVK is the most broken weapon right now and even got banned from competitive. And watch HVK analysis to know more. And SKS is under broken weapon which got banned and you can watch this analysis to know more. But a tier above broken weapons is one shot weapons like shotguns and snipers. I recommend Argus, KRM and R9, use either. And as long as you can aim, you will dominate lobbies. Snipers have too many choices. I recommend DLQ or Locus for both snipers and Ritek or XPR for semi-auto snipers. Marksmen are slept on and use MK2 or Kilo for iron sight with SPR for scope and that covers all the meta weapons in COD Mobile Season 10. Watch next how distance acceleration can instantly improve your aim and I will see you on the next video. Bye.